Welcome back, everybody. Folks, my first guest tonight is the Emmy-nominated star of the Emmy-nominated series, Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Come on, Kimmy. You know it's okay to step on cracks. Just because something rhymes doesn't mean it's true. Because I've definitely smelled what I know Titus dealt. It's silly. Like, thinking every van I see is going to kidnap me. Get in the van, Kimmy. Never! Miss Schmidt? It is clobbering time! Oh. No, Miss Schmidt, FBI, we need your help. Oh, Christmas. I am so sorry. Are you okay, Agent, your mother? I think she broke my back. I broke your mother's oh. back. Yeah. Easy. Ooh, easy, ooh, easy. Ooh, 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 ooh. Please welcome the award-worthy Ellie Kemper. Nice to have you back. Thank you for having me. Nice to see you it's again. It's such an honor to be here. Now, the last time you were here was in uh, right before the conventions last year. It was in June yes, of uh, 2016. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It's a whole new world. <laughs> and for you, too, because you were massively, like, any moment pregnant yeah, at the time. Yeah, I was time. very hugely pregnant at the time. It was, yeah. I was, like, um, three weeks away or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, at three weeks, it's, you're, as well, you're as good as there. Oh, absolutely. You know what I mean? You're in the safe zone. And well, I did have the baby. Yep. I'm glad. Thank good you. for you. Yes. Good for you. Good for the baby <laughs> and your lovely baby. husband, yes, Michael. Thanks. Say hi, yes, please. Yes, I will. Yeah. Now, okay, so boy or girl? It's a boy named James. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. That's he, nice. He's a very, yeah. He, Family name, James? Family name from both sides. So, oh, so wow. different Oh, wow. You both have the same father. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, what about? Well, no, the last time you were here, you were talking about because uh, Catholic, Catholic. We're both Catholic. And you, and you were you were trying to figure out because uh, your lovely husband Mike Komen, who I know very well, yeah. uh, is Jewish, and you weren't sure whether to raise the kids Catholic. How's that going? He's Jewish, and that's fine. Um, it's going. <laughs> I'm kidding. No one says it wasn't. Oh. No one says. Are you angling for a job in the Trump no. administration right now? <laughs> Okay. I'm here tonight. No. Okay. Uh, yes, we were sort of figuring out how to raise James, like with what religion we did. He's going. The, we're going the Catholic route. He did get baptized. He got baptized sort of late, uh, later on, like in May. He was 10 months old, which I think is too big for the priest to be holding at that it's point. It's a little big. You got to go to like a baby pool instead of a I, baptismal exactly pond right, at that yeah. point, I don't, or like a hot tub or something oh, totally. like that. No, I was actually very nervous when the priest was holding him because I'm not sure. Priests are known for their like grit, so I was a little worried he was going to drop him, but he didn't drop him. The other thing is that I get. I bet there's some priests out there who are like, I got plenty of grit. What I know. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm celibate. That takes grit. That does. That takes. That true actually grit. builds up the grit after That's a while. <laughs> okay, so so was he like? Uh, at 10 months, he must have been scrambling around because they're strong they're at 10 strong months. They're strong and they're emotional and they have opinions and also this is coupled with the fact that like. I don't know if this happens to you, probably not. I get very nervous around priests because I immediately feel like I'm guilty of something, I've done something wrong. You know, it's like, it's the same thing as policemen. I always feel guilty around policemen. Sure, when I look in my rear view mirror and I see a priest behind me, I'm like, what did I do? Yes! <laughs> Why is he after me? Exactly! Yeah. You immediately feel like a villain. So, uh, can I ask you, one of my favorite things about uh, baptism, yeah. Is because I we have uh, three kids of our own. They yeah. were baptized in the Catholic Church, and I love the baptismal vows. You know, because there are things you say in the baptismal vows you don't hear at any other time in your Catholic nope. upbringing. My favorite is uh, is a Do you reject the glamour of evil? Yeah. And you're like, uh, and you have to say I do. They go, the priest goes, Do you reject the glamour of evil? evil? And you're like, I. Mm. Right. <laughs> Okay. Evil, but what's this glamour part? That yeah, part right, right. Good. I didn't know it was so shiny. <laughs> exactly. It sounds pretty. But also, glamour of evil, isn't that the Emmy Awards? Exactly. I kind of love that. Red also, carpet. And I noticed, like, my priest kind of threw it away, like, as though what? I wouldn't catch it. Like, do you reject the glamour of evil? And it was like something you have to say, well, yes, I do. But then you think afterwards, it's such an enormous thing that they're asking you to do. I think they throw it away because it seems slightly medieval or yes. like exorcisty. Yes. Another one lies is, do you reject Satan, the prince of <laughs> darkness? <laughs> I mean, it's right out of a uh -huh. Bram Stoker novel. Yes. I'm like, I always go, I do. Oh, good. <laughs> Bring him here, I will fight him with my bare hands. That's how you should respond. Now, did your baby cry? Did James cry when he was baptized? Yeah, he good. screamed. I mean, he was so, and also the priest sort of dunked him in the water. Wait, mm -hmm. you say that's good? Oh, if the baby doesn't cry, he didn't get the devil out. Oh, no, my God. Oh, yeah. He did. Good. Yes. If you ever go to a baptism 
and the baby doesn't cry, <gasps> just go up to mother and say, devil baby. That's... <laughs> I will. It's true. That's horrifying. You gotta get the haint out. Oh no, he definitely, he definitely got the haint out. Okay, good. Is the way, is, yeah, he, is yeah. the haint like, like a haunt, like a like a oh, bad yeah, yeah. spirit? He's a out. In yeah. fact, as soon as we got home from the baptism, this is no joke. An hour after the baptism, I found James with a shard of glass in his hand, and it was in my parents' house. Why is there glass on their floor? Like what party was there? Was there a was there a like a party? Like I a don't know what it was. No, they're just thing? wild people, I guess. I don't know okay. why. So you and, found with a shard of glass. I mean, I was watching him, and I was like, James, what's in there? And it was a shard of glass. He was miraculously unhurt. I don't know if he was testing God. I don't know, like, what the <laughs> point was. But, I mean, he turned out okay, but it was... I don't know if it was a sign, like, I wasn't supposed to do that. My, uh, my eldest son, my eldest son, uh, Peter, when yeah. he was uh, pretty young, just being able to talk, he had one hand behind his back while I was trying to get his shoes on yeah. one morning. And he said, Dad, what do I have in my hand? And I said, uh, buddy, we got to get going. And then I went... Buddy, what do you have in your hand? <laughs> and he pulled it out, and it was a knife. No, you're kidding me. Yes. I think he wanted me to ask him so I would take it away from right. him. He, Because it was shiny and right. lovely. Yeah. And he knew he shouldn't have That's it. That's exactly right. Yeah. So he was sort of testing you to see what you Something would like do? Something like that. I think maybe he didn't cry when we baptized him. I think, I think he, he, I think he has baby. the hate in it. I think he might be a devil baby. Now, uh, okay, Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Uh, nominated for an Emmy. Mm -hmm. uh, are you? You're, you're an improviser. I know this. Yep. Are you? Are you writing an acceptance speech, or are you gonna just free ball it? I am <laughs> gonna totally free ball. I, I, I think I'll write down that I don't think that I'm uh, necessarily going to win. I'm going to write down a list of names of people to thank because otherwise I would blank on that. Okay. But, yeah. Okay. Did you write down? I mean, you, you've won so so many awards. I'm not just saying that; it's true. <laughs> no, uh, uh, no, no, no. Yes. Then you're cursing yes. yourself. <laughs> then you're cursing yourself. Yeah. Then you're putting the hex on you. Right. The, yeah. Then you get. Then if you if you write it down, you get the hex. You get the haints in you. That's exactly you that, right. Then you are jinxing you. it. Yeah. I won't yeah. write down anything except I will write down names. You're gonna thank. No. You're gonna thank your baby. I'm gonna thank James first and foremost. Of yeah. Course. yeah. Yeah. You got to. Or you, else when they're older, they go, "Why didn't you thank me?" Yeah. Exactly. What am I to you? And then mm -hmm. they're on the therapist's couch talking my mom never thanked me and her, mm -hmm. yeah, I'll thank And then you say, <laughs> devil baby. Yeah. All right. <laughs> um, does your son watch the show? Um, he does not, and not because of the content, He's, which is very child-friendly, by the way. Yeah, it uh, is. But he, it's it is. A po it's positive messages. It's very positive. It's sincerely optimistic, which I really like about that show. It's not We cynical. really need that right now. We, yes, we do. We really need so that it's right very, now. So it's very uh, great that Tina and Robert created the show, which is so uplifting. But James is only one, and he does I wish that he would uh, be more taken with televisions. But he is not. Like, really? I, You're the one mother who wants yeah, more screen time? Yeah, more screen time. time more child? screen time. Yeah, he won't, because, you know, on, on plane rides or car rides or something, I, I desperately, I'll show, sorry guys, I'll show him an iPhone hoping he'll stop crying by looking at that, but he has no, he has no need for How it. How old is he now? He's one. So plenty he, of time for him to time become for... chemically dependent yeah, upon screens. that's what I was hoping. <laughs> now, uh, this is, you brought this here today, and I have not seen, this is, this is, but this, there have been some is, advancements uh, the, on since, these over the years perhaps. since this my is, children. Um, this is, a, what's, I think it's just called The Cube, and, um, Ever since becoming a mother, let me tell you this, I thought that I would become more, like, mature without this greater responsibility, but in fact, I feel like I'm becoming a baby. Like, I go to bed at 7.30, usually. I'm usually eating dinner by 5, and most of that is, like, mushy food. But the other thing, it's so strange. I'm, I'm crawling everywhere. No, I'm not crawling. But, but the, the, the other thing is that, and any parent knows this, you get these uh, children's songs stuck in your head, like, on a loop. Yeah. And I get these children's songs stuck in my head that aren't even like sweet lullabies. They're they're music from toys. And so right. I brought this here today because I'll, okay. I'll show you what this particular piece is. Okay. Um, okay. Hold on. Square. Okay. That's a square. The cat sings. <laughs> meow meow. Okay. got a hook. It's beautiful. So that's yeah. a beautiful song. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Gonna be nominated for a Grammy. You can see though why if you're an adult and that is stuck in your head. Can you find the animal? Oh, oh stop. Stop. Now? Okay. <laughs> Please stop. Stop. And that, that can be grating. So I have tried to adapt these songs into more adult versions and I would like to sing them for you. We would love it. We would okay. love to hear that song. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. John, yeah. 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 could I get a little Cat in the square? Oh, I got that cat in the square. I got you. Okay. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> the 
a cat in the square. Oh, in the square. Is peeking out of their hair. Oh, oh. out of their hair. Meow, 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 meow. Oh, yeah. The cat in the square. Square, yeah. Oh, the cat. Good luck at the Emmys. That's gonna, that's gonna clinch it. That's gonna clinch it. We'll be right back.